I wanted to hop on today. I was supposed to hop on yesterday, but I was not going to lie, kind of ill. <laughs> so um, yes, ask me any questions about the office TV show, not this office, and I can answer. Um, so, but in lieu, is that the right phrase, of that, I'm here today. I want to talk about saying goodbye to perfectionism, which I feel like is something that we can kind of all relate to, especially when it comes to language learning, because it is this thing that, whether it's something we've experienced like on kind of minor occasions or just huge grand scale, it really, really has the power to stop us and stall us when we want to be learning a language, we want to be moving forward, because such a huge part of that process is practice and it's being able to you know, feel comfortable with mistakes and with slipping up and not being perfect, essentially. And so when we have this feeling inside of us that's like, oh, oh, but I want to do it right. I want to do it perfect. Oh, 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 oh. It really is a kind of a pull away from what we need to be doing to get better. So we're going to talk about this today. But first, I just want to invite you, if you haven't already applied for Language Life and applied for the live training that I'm hosting on uh, Monday, the 22nd, this Monday coming, then you definitely should, because it's going to be amazing. We're going to be talking about the one thing that all language learners need to do today uh, on Monday. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you haven't already applied you should do it now. lindsaydoeslanguages.com forward slash apply and you'll be able to do it right there. Um, so yeah, that is that. I look forward to reading your application and accepting and, uh, you know, if, if it's a good fit, obviously, and, um, and having you join me on Monday. So, okay, so you can hear my nose is now full of delightful mucus. Okay, but this is better than yesterday. So, <laughs> so we're here, this is good. Um, so, Here's the thing. The main thing about kind of perfectionism, the first thing we need to understand is you're facing this now during prep for an exam. Yeah, right. This is it, right? The main thing that we need to understand, first of all, is that this is a very, very normal feeling, right? This isn't a flaw. This isn't something that is like bad about you or means that you are a bad language learner. No, that is not it. Because we live in this world, we live in these societies where, you know, we need to save face, we have to present well, it's, you know, that's what's going to help us in kind of future relationships and, and just connecting with people kind of on an appropriate level, right? So we have, we, we kind of learn the ways of kind of coping with stuff like this. And so through, through us speaking another language and not wanting to make a mistake all that is is us wanting to accommodate that is wanting to it's, it's us wanting to allow for um us making a good impression essentially right so it's completely normal and valid for you to feel this sense of like perfectionism that you want to exist in your language learning whether that's in you know, you speaking, whether that is in your process of, of learning or whatever, right? It's completely normal. How do we overcome it? How do we kind of begin to say goodbye to that? That is where we need to figure out our new comfort level, right? So people say like, oh, just get straight out of your comfort zone. Woo, it's where the magic happens. You see it in like memes and stuff, don't you? A little drawing of like a tiny comfort zone and then big thing around it. And an arrow like this is where the magic happens well yeah, yeah I feel like really the arrow should be pointing to just on the line of the comfort zone right not just out in the middle like unmoored <laughs> untethered so you you kind of you want to be working to adjust that comfort boundary so that it's you're still in this space where you can practice you can make mistakes whether it's speaking whether it's your routine whether it's writing whatever you feel comfortable doing so and that is a case of being around people that you trust that um, you know that you have a teacher for example that you know isn't gonna laugh at you or just pick up on every single mistake and make you feel terrible it's about um, knowing that 
there is no competition there is no rush this is not a race you know like really finding some some peace with those those thoughts right and those truths and being able to then just expand that zone a little bit more as a result of all of that right for example um i'm here today talking to you live with wet hair right because I'm a human and I need to wash my hair. And mostly that happens in the morning because if I do it at night, get to bed with wet hair on the pillow, it's not very good. But at the same time, I feel comfortable enough coming onto a live video and talking to you with wet hair because for me, that's my line. And for someone else, that might not be the line, right? That might be, no, I need to dry it, I need to set it and style it, and it needs to be looking good before. I hop on to a live video. That's fine. Because this is the thing. Those boundaries, those comfort boundaries of, of where you feel comfortable, where you feel safe, where we're beginning to expand upon, um, kind of expand beyond, sorry, like perfectionism, they are different, right? For for everyone. And so that's fine. You know, if you if you were like, oh. I couldn't possibly do a live with wet hair or oh yeah all the time no worries that's a different boundary so it's understanding as well that there's no right or wrong here which is which is the thing as we're thinking about perfectionism we often feel this sense of um oh yeah but is that right is that wrong is that is that perfect it's you that get to set those boundaries as well so I can't tell you how far to expand that comfort boundary you have to experiment there you have to find that for yourself um yes <laughs> i hope i alleviate my uh, sniffle soon it is frustrating to say the least um okay so a couple more things i wanted to mention with this this in, in essence this is really about comfort this is really about just expanding your comfort zone boop, 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 gradually so that you lose and that that sense of perfectionism you just allow kind of a little bit of mistake first in a comfortable space with someone that you trust and then you feel more confident potentially making mistakes with other people right um if we're talking about your routine and your you know your approach to your process of language learning like maybe part of your perfectionism kind of comes out in the sense of um, oh, well, I want to go through the book and I want to do it in order and I want to do every single exercise. And I want to get it all right before I move on to the next one. Maybe that's how it kind of manifests itself. And if that's the case, then thinking about, well, how can I take only what I need from these resources? How can I make these resources work for me instead of me kind of working for the resource in a sense? Do you know what I mean? So really just reshaping and just adjusting our approach. Um, is, is how we begin to say goodbye to this and how we begin to overcome this. Um, so yeah, I think that's really it. Like I just I just wanted to to get that out and just to let you know that a it is okay if you're feeling this kind of pull towards wanting to be perfect and b that it's okay to then figure out where that new boundary lies for yourself. There is no like right answer there is no answer of like just go out there and speak like that has never been it for me and I feel like that's for a lot of people too that's the case um so yeah that is it and if you if you would like more if, if you want to talk more about this we do so in language life and on Monday I'm hosting an exclusive live training for applicants of language life so if you want in on that training we're going to be talking about the one thing that all language learners need to do today then I would love to see you there on Monday you can apply now lindinaslanguages.com forward slash apply and um yeah I look forward to reading your application and that is it for today I'll be back um we're on Thursday already how crazy is that this week is just whoosh um I will be back tomorrow um uh to go live again i've got one one more thing i want to talk about this week and uh so we'll be doing that tomorrow i'm looking forward to it and i will see you then all right thank you bye bye Boop.